And how impressed are you with just the way Karnes responded and bounced back? It was an uh, outstanding job, outstanding effort on his part. He really bowed up and probably saved us. Uh, it could have gotten a little hairy there, uh, the way it was go going. And, you know, he just fell behind a couple guys early in the game. They, they got three hits before he recorded an out. Uh, not the most ideal situation, obviously. What he did to pick up the, uh, the rest of the game in the bullpen was it was outstanding. Not only with him, but Geltz as well. What gave you the confidence? I know it was early with Carnes, but just to keep both of them in and then when Geltz got out of that jam in the seven. Yeah, it was a big part of the game. We have a lot of confidence in all of our guys. Uh, you know, we're trying to factor in some different things right now and making sure we don't over overuse anybody too early in the season. Um, you know, that was part of a factor, so... But Gelsey, the entire bullpen came in and did tremendous and, and cannot say enough about Nathan Carnes, how he, you know, he, he could have uh, really just faltered right there, but he, he just kept pumping strikes and uh, kept us in the ballgame. Is there a specific adjustment he made or that he could solve after the first two innings? I don't think so. I think it was more, you know, just uh, started getting ahead of guys a little bit better. Uh, it seemed like he, he, you know, was locating his fastball a little bit more. Uh, early on, it was kind of behind, and then he'd have to groove a pitch to him. Was there any point in the first two innings where you were thinking, you know, you can't go much longer with this guy, or did you think you had to kind of ride him out of there? No, I, I, I was. I think we were discussing. It was probably best to let's. Uh, we need to get some length out of him. Uh, obviously, we're not going to do anything ever to risk an injury to anybody. But no. Carnsey was was. Uh, Built up good in spring training, and uh, I, I cannot credit him enough how he pitched. And and, and the offense, how they, uh, you know, get down six runs and then come back uh, against some good pitchers. We seem to put some good ABs and put pressure on them. We had opportunities, and we left some guys on base, but uh, can't complain about coming back from 6 nothing, scoring 5. So you really didn't think he was rattled in his first two innings? I mean... Composure-wise, no, I don't. I think I, I kind of I credit the the Orioles. They uh, they didn't miss any pitches. Pretty good manager putting Kiermaier in. Yeah, yeah, that was the thought. <laughs> what was the deal with Loney? What happened there? You know what? He felt some tightness uh, in his side, and we figured it'd be best, uh, given what's going on with people's sides, we'd, let's give him a day and, and be uh, caution, you know, precautionary with it. Would you expect him to play tomorrow, or you don't know? Uh, I don't know yet, but I would, uh, no, I, I'm not sure yet. Forsyth was supposed to have the night off his feet. How, what do you think of his game tonight? Uh, well, obviously big hit. Uh, you know, we did want to. It's not that big of a deal. It's still early in the year. We'll factor that throughout the course of the year as far as getting him off his feet and stuff, like, and all of our guys. Uh, but, you know, when you're in a pinch, sometimes you got to make adjustments, and that's kind of where we fell into the, uh, today. Real aggressive call there with the double steal and a left-handed batter up. Is that what we're going to see kind of for the rest of the year, kind of create something? Uh, you know what, that was uh, – I thought Brandon, he did a nice job of picking a pitch where he thought he, he had a jump. Uh, you know, we want our guys to do what they do well. Uh, um, so, you know, going forward, I'm not going to say we're going to see it or not going to see it, but we like our guys to be aggressive, and, and uh, if the opportunity presents itself, take advantage of it. What did you see from Chen out there? He looked like he was really throwing that breaking ball good, uh, front door breaking ball to the uh, right-handed hitters. Yeah, he looked good. He looked good.